All right, well, good morning. We're not working on this right now. We're actually gonna be removing the dog bone stabilizer stiffener insert that everyone loves to install in their like GTIs and Jettas and stuff like that. But the Mark VI is a diesel and diesels have crazy vibration. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put it in last week for like a little video um, between TikTok and Instagram. And I don't like it. It literally feels like my car is falling apart and I don't like that. It's a daily. So we're going to start this up, going to back this out. I just filled the tires up in the Mark, in the Mark V and uh, I'm going to start the Mark VI up for you guys so you could see what it actually feels like and sounds like. It's, it's, it's bad, but you guys might be like tolerate it. I don't even know. So by the way, this is Alex pre-coffee. It's, uh, I think nine o'clock in the morning. Usually I'm up a little later than this. So I figured before I start my day and I go out, I'm going to film this guy, this video for you guys. And, uh, eh. that started. This thing hooks up the Bluetooth and then doesn't record sound. So let me see if my Bluetooth's on. It was indeed. So got that off. I almost just drove it into the workbench. Sheesh. Mark six TT. Eric's three thirty five. It's a fire lineup. It's a fire lineup. <sighs> Trying to figure out if I want to make this like a simple vlog or if I'm just gonna make this choppy and like I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see in content wise because a video like this isn't anything all that serious, right? And then you got videos where like I'll actually have like money poured into them and stuff like that, but we're not there financially yet, so I'm gonna try to make these short vlogs get you guys the content that you want. But you'll see, this thing starts up and it's so rough when it starts, but it uh it vibrates so bad like that's what that's what's rough about it like when it starts in its normal car it, it's not rough at all but for some reason with this you hear that like the idle is normal but it just sounds dead, 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 dead. like you could see the rpms they're not going up but something is just like Hitting the firewall, I don't know. It, it's gotta be either vibrational, the firewall or something. I don't know, something's something's contacting something, but as soon as you give throttle, it levels out. So, I don't know. The RPM's not jumping up and down. It's not like it has a weird idle. Oh my God, look at that thing, bro. like scrambling for wood oh yeah by the way it's 60 degrees out right now like i don't think we're gonna get snow anymore this year and there's snow still outside because well it's new jersey yesterday was 30 degrees and today is 60 so it's time to take these off even though they've only been off for i guess like a month i was super late to doing all that but uh karen was hitting the tip i had to say goodbye but i got a two by four underneath there so i'm gonna pull this up yeah, you hear that? I'm gonna close the door, you'll hear it. Like you hear how idle, how smooth it is outside and then in here it's like, eh, 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 eh. it's terrible. So if you want to get a dog bone mount stiffener, like insert, like go for it. Anyone's entitled to get it. But the issue is with like a diesel, it's just the vibrations are terrible. So I don't recommend you getting it. But if you want it, I'll link it in the description even though we're taking it out of my car. So I should really use like a hockey puck or something like that. But since I have side skirts and no, this brake right here is actually from a snow pile. It's not from me jacking the car up. Regardless, when this is all the way down, it like barely just slides underneath here. And then this is in the way. So what I do is I put my jack underneath where it needs to go. And then I fish this puck underneath here and it's right there and I jack it up and this won't hit and it'll lift the car. Of course, after I chop the wheels though, I gotta be safe. Up and, or down and up and down and up. I really wish it was up and down, but, oh, 
up and down. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to stick one of those under there and go to the other side and boom. Climb underneath the car. No. I'm gonna pull the wraps underneath it. At the very least. And two jacks. I always use two jacks. <laughs> so I got this side up in the air with the jack supporting it for backup. I'm about to have the jack under this side. But underneath here. You can see that there's like that pinch weld slash where you're supposed to jack up from and it's a little bit worn down so i'm gonna spray with this rust reformer it not only eats the rust but it encapsulates it something like that and i put it on v1 and like six years later this super rusty spot that i had sprayed was still just like like black spray paint and hard so i trust this stuff a lot because i've seen years of it battling the rust Thankfully, I filmed that because I didn't even see I didn't spray paint the backside. So now I'm going to spray paint the backside without gel there because I don't want the paint to drip. This can of rust reformer is like 8 bucks at Walmart, $9 after tax, same on Amazon. And then if you go to like AutoZone or Advance, it's like 13 bucks. So don't go to Advance, don't go to AutoZone, but it is there if you can't find it at Walmart or on Amazon. Okay, well, never mind. I went to go remove this underbody shield and then i realized that the dog bone insert that i want to take out wasn't even covered by the shield so we can get right in there i'm gonna take this off i think this is like a 19 mil it's all crooked too like you see how it's all crooked i don't even know how to describe this like this is not in it's it doesn't even fit in here the one i got off amazon is is probably junk and it's probably the reason if i got the legit one it'd probably be better but it's allowing the engine to sit in such a direction like the back of the bolts up like i definitely tried my hardest to get it in there but it wasn't able to fit so i don't blame this on the insert 100 i blame it also on the design of the one that i got which was a cheap one off amazon so i mean if you want to get the euro tuning one or i think ecs has it you'll probably be in better luck but this bolt is is cocked like forward so it's allowing the engine to be in a place where it doesn't want to be i'd assume because like i said there's quite literally a gap in the back here and there's nothing in the front and then like the front of this insert is coming out. So it's it's definitely not in there correctly. So anyway, I'm gonna back this out, drop the insert out, which is not gonna be easy. And um, if I tear it, I guess it doesn't matter, but I don't want anything stuck in there. So I'm kind of like in a pickle, we'll, we'll find out. And like I said, this is a vlog, so I'm not going with any crazy cuts in here. Wow, I thought that was an 18. It's gotta be a 20. It's actually a 21, because I never took it off, took it off the wrench the other day. Yeah, that's so bad, bro. Yeah, look how much thread engagement was on there. The bolt's fine, which is fine. I didn't use the one that came with the kit because it was the same length, but you could see um, only that much of the threads were engaged, but at least it was like that much of the threads. It could have been less. Oh yeah, my, uh, my YouTube play button came in like three months ago and I'm just showing you now. I still haven't unboxed it, but maybe we'll just leave it like that in the background. Let me know if I should unbox it. If anyone saw the video where I put this in, I think I posted on YouTube, like shorts maybe, but I know I posted on TikTok and uh, Instagram Reels. And I said I used no lube to put it in, like no you know grease or spray. And that was true. And then I had to take it out. So it's already been out once because it was sitting like this. And I was like, no, I can't sit like that. So... I wound up like greasing it up and stuff and it slid in there quite easily. So I think getting it out's not gonna be all that hard compared to what it was the first time. It was a nightmare. So I'm gonna go get like a pry tool and we're gonna pull this out. These are the tools I've come up with. Whatever this material is, it's super, super stretchy and malleable because I was tearing at it last time and it wasn't even budging. So let's stick this up in there. I'm working for a little bit. Once I get it like a half inch out, I'll report back to you guys because you don't want to watch me struggle. Or maybe you do want to watch me struggle. Here, I'm going to put y'all on 0.5. I don't know what the view is going to look like, but you're filming. That's all I know. Uh, you're an inanimate object that I want out of my car. There we go. 
I did this the first time without any grease on there and then I greased it up and it's almost like whatever I put on there like dried up and made this harder because the first time I just like kind of I, I fought it but I've just like pulled it out right, come on you're not welcome here come on oh that was like 10 minutes straight on my back. And like I said, I've done this before. I took this out the last time I did it to straighten it back out. And I took it out in like two, two, three minutes, just pulled on it. That was a nightmare, but it's also been running and it's got grooves in it now and it's heated up. But this looks exactly like the one on Euro tuning, but whatever is causing it, it's not allowing this to go straight in and then fully up. So maybe the legs are a little too long or it's just a little too fat and they've got to trim up the design a little bit. But as soon as it gets up to like here where these like these casting marks, it just does not go up anymore. So I'm thinking that this is just a little bit too long for the design and that's causing the issue. But you can see how it's all malformed and how crooked it was in there. So I'm gonna see if that bolt will just thread right back up. So I forgot to film, but I got it back in there. Everything's nice and tight, ready to go. So I want to put this tray back on. I took the tray out because I had to actually straighten this out with a pry tool to get the threads to line up. I got the skid plate back underneath the car. I just got this side out and this wood. E. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, that sounded good. Got that wheel ramp out. Let's drop this down at a good reasonable speed. Good reasonable speed. Got the car on the ground, hood's closed. Get these chocks out of here. I'm literally driven away with like the chalk underneath the car. And boom, boom. But it's a, it's a static daily, so we can do stuff like that, I guess. But um, you know what we're gonna do this in one take. See how this thing starts up. There's enough thread engagement on that dog bone, dog bone mount still, thankfully. There's like half an inch of threads. But for some reason, the threads were like gnarled up from being so crooked. So I was able to clean a decent amount up, but I still left some, uh, come on. Come on now, close the door. Dude, it's so nice. I don't. Like I said, I don't know why mine was like that specifically, but my buddy Vinny, who literally just moved to North Carolina, I went to go visit him for like four days and he let me and my buddy Brandon borrow his GTI with like stage two engine mounts and that dog bone mount insert. And the car felt like it was stock. So it was like so confusing, but. The trip felt good. Everything felt fine. Um, let me know what you guys thought about today's video. It was short, it was simple, and it was me doing something that I would have done off camera and I wanted to share with you guys, but I'm just trying to get back into the whole vlog sense, understanding the whole editing and understanding the flow of a video. So if there's anything you guys would change about the video, let me know. And uh, I'm gonna try to bring you some more, you know, some more actual mods, but I enjoyed sharing the little things too. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, throw it a like, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace. That whole video was filmed by a coffee addict without his coffee, but I got it now. Right as I'm done editing this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I love you. If you're going to subscribe, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ah, delicious.